Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to convert a percent into an equivalent fraction. So we're going to do two problems together, and you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so there's several ways of doing this, but really I like this kind of three-step method. So method number one, it says, or step number one, it says write down the percent divided by 100. So here it is. So for 50%, 50 you write down the percent, which is right here, and you divide it by 100, all right? That says if percent is not a whole number, then multiply both the top and bottom by 10 for every number after the decimal point, all right? Now, this right here um, is not a decimal, right? So we're all set. So 50 one hundredths can reduce down to 5 tenths, which equals 1 half, all right? So let's try a couple of these together here. So step number one is you write down the percent over 100. So 35 over 100. And now there's no decimals in the numerator, right? So we're all set. But I can reduce this because 5 goes into 35 uh, 7 times. And 5 goes into 100 20 times. So it's 7 twenties. All right, let's try this one. 42%. Well, we're going to write it as 42 over 100. And then that can reduce down to, well, they're both even, right? So I can divide it by 2. So 21 fiftieths. And 21 fiftieths is reduced. All right, I want to do one extra one um, that has a decimal involved. So let's say, for example, we have 0.5%. All right, so less than 1%, just half a percent. So what you do, we write it as 0.5 over 100. All right. Now, for every digit to the right of the decimal point, we're going to multiply it by 10. So I'm going to move this decimal one spot to the right. I'm multiplying by 10. So that gives us 5. But what you do at the top, you got to do the bottom, right? So 100 times 10 is 1,000. So 5 one thousandths is a fraction that's equivalent to 0.5 of a percent. But now I can reduce that um, by, let's see, 5 goes into both, right? So that's going to be 1 over 200. So that is equivalent to half a percent. All right, so now, now they understand how to convert a percentage into a fraction, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn up now problems. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did. So we have 22%, so I'm gonna write that as 22 over 100. And then 22 and 100, well, they're both divisible by 2. So I'm going to divide 22 by 2 and I get 11. And then I'm going to divide 100 by 2 and I get 50. And that's reduced. All right. You might um, just want to know that you know a fraction is, is reduced when 1 is the biggest common factor of both the numerator and denominator. So 1 is the biggest number that can go into 11 as well as 50. All right, let's try this one, 98%. So I'm going to write that as 98 over 100. And because 98 is an even number, so it's 100, I'm going to divide it by 2. That's going to be 49 over 50. And that is reduced. So 98% equals 49 fiftieths. All right, how'd you do?